What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. This video is brought to you guys by Hitpaw, and we're taking a look at the really, really awesome video editor. As you guys can see, this thing is capable of doing everything. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick little tutorial session on how exactly you can go and use this particular software. How cool is that? So as you guys can see, um, the overall UI of this is very, very simple. We got media, sound, text, stickers, transition, and filters. So what we need is some files. I'm going to jump into some of the cool files I have here. Maybe we'll um, take a random drone video or and add some music or something of those sorts so let's see what some what some footage I have here this one looks really really nice so I'm just gonna toss this footage directly into here and you can drag and drop it directly onto the timeline how cool is that so the next thing I can do is jump into here and of course play this particular file which is really really awesome so it's gonna go and play it cool and I can jump around the track see what's happening and that's really really awesome so what exactly am I able to do with the track well I can split it I can hide it or I can delete it right from here so I'm gonna add a little split maybe I only like this little chunk so I can actually go ahead and delete everything or I can go ahead and let's say I want to um, only delete this particular section well then I can go and delete just that so now the video plays from right around here how cool is that so the next step is we need to add some music. So they have a variety of sound effects built directly into here. Um, things like a tuning, uh, turning a radio or like bubbles, stuff like that. We also have nature. Um, so nature would be really nice here. So let's see, we're gonna do maybe, uh, what, which one makes some sense? Maybe some wind uh, because we are up in the air. So I'm gonna add a little wind noise right here, which is really, really cool. Once again, now I can play it with wind noise, which is awesome. If I want, I can also add my own music so I can just jump into media again, hit the plus button right here, and maybe I want to use this particular song, and now it's added it directly into here, and boom, now I have some wind noise and some song layered on top of each other. How cool is that? So, next step would be to add some text, you know, like we gotta be able to tell people what's happening here, you know, it's pretty random. So, we have some options for which type of text we want to use. Let's use this kind of minimal font, and jump right into here, and what I can do is I can lengthen this, which is really, really cool. So, I lengthened this particular um, format right here and we're gonna actually go and add in um, let's say I want to add another split here and I want to take this um, particular section and let's say we want to add it over here and this is gonna be our title card okay because I, I think this looks really really nice so what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click this and now we're able to edit the text right around here choose the font look at all these variety of fonts Alge um, there's Algerian font there's Anton I think this one looks very minimal the color is fine maybe we need to make this just a tad bit bigger but you know what I think it's also like fine here's the character spacing that gives it a nice vibe and we're just gonna call this video nice vibe cool all right, that looks pretty sleek so far. Yep, I would say so. We're gonna go ahead and play the video again and make sure this thing actually looks really cool, which I think it does. Now we need some stickers, okay? So here are the options we have for stickers. We can add emojis, um, interesting, but I don't think that goes with the vibe of the video. Peace sign is kind of cool. Maybe the vibe of the video, um, this one looks okay. 3D elements are okay. Effects are really cool as well. So I'm just gonna toss in some effects into here. And as you guys can see, most of these sections are scrollable. So you can go ahead and um, jump around and see what the other options are. So that's really really cool as well just pointing that out as well so jumping back to our stickers I'm gonna go and maybe add in which one of these looks pretty awesome oh it's a tough decision there's so many of them this is crazy uh, let's just go and add this one also looks pretty minimal once again we're gonna drag and we're gonna do that and now as you guys can see it's a nice vibe but the sizing of it is off unfortunately so what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly resize it until it fits the entirety of this little section let me just jump and do that and now what we're gonna have is something that looks like this because it had just added rain to my video how cool does that look really really awesome last but not least we do have a little cut right here you know or jumps between that clip and that clip and if we just leave the cut here it's gonna look a little bit ridiculous as you guys um, can see in around five four three two one uh, it's okay it's not the worst cut but it could be better so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a really cool transition and as you guys can see there's a ton of transitions there's an absolute ton of transitions but the one that I think will look really really cool here's cross overlay and it'll give you a preview of what it'll look like if you click it I think that one will look really awesome but I'm gonna use blur for the sake of this section you just drag it and you add it between two let's see what it does to my particular video when I add this section Wow, look how awesome that is. So those are some of the options you have for transitions, but you can also add effects into here as well. So let's say you wanna jump into here. 
and you can add particular blurs. It'll just hop right to that section. So here's all the different options that you have. Last but not least, you know, the video would look a little bit nicer with a little bit of a filter, and there's a ton of filters in here. So if you want to go ahead and mess with the color of your video, you can go and do that as well. Everything's kind of done for you, you know, like you use other editing software, and unfortunately, you need to go and color correct everything, the highs and the lows on every single, you know, contrast and all that directly on your own. That's just not the case here. You can just kind of toss something directly onto there and see how it looks. So that's exactly where we're going to go and do. This was one particular filter. It doesn't add too much. So let's use this one. Ah, there we go. Crazy vibe right there. Um, I feel like that's a bit too purple. So I'm going to keep seeing if I can find a better one. There we go. Look how cool that looks. And we're going to go and add that particular one to this one as well. Um, and as you can see, it just changed the vibe of the video. How awesome is that for, you know, like five minutes of work, literally, because that's the length of the video. Last but not least, I'll show you guys some quick things. You know, that drone video is a bit slow. So what we're going to do is we can mess with the speed. So I can actually jump the speed completely up. Uh oh, I hit cancel. Don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and try that again. And okay. And now it's actually going to speed that video up apparently a bit too much. So we're going to go and do that one more time. Let's want to speed this up just a tad bit, not too, too much. There we go. Okay, so now it's going to be very fast, but just to show you guys that this thing is possible. There you go. Um, it's going to go and zip around. How cool is that? Um, you can also crop the video, so if I want to be really close to this island, I can go ahead and do that as well. If I want to be have the sunset just be the shot, I can go and do that as well. Last but not least, we do need to export this footage. So we're going to hit the export button here. I'm going to give it a cool little name. And as you guys can see, we can save it to the HitPaw video editor file. Um, we can choose what format we want to export this as. And of course, the resolution itself. We're going to hit OK. And it's going to go ahead and render that file. All in all, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. So leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.